Hello everybody! This video will show you how to recover data after resetting Windows 10, resetting a laptop to factory settings or reinstalling Windows. In one of the previous videos, we have already shown you how to reset Windows 10, 8 or 7 to its original state of factory settings. Often, it takes users some time after resetting or reinstalling their operating system to realize that the files which they need right now are missing. So, here is a computer containing files, documents and images. In order to demonstrate data recovery after resetting the system, let us reset the test computer. In a similar way, you can recover user files after resetting a laptop to factory settings or reinstalling Windows. To do it, go to Settings, Update and Security, Recovery, click on Get started in the submenu Reset this PC. Select the option Remove everything in the window that appears. The system will be reset automatically. In the process, the computer will restart several times and, of course, it will take some time. To complete the reset, some additional settings are required. They are similar to those used when reinstalling Windows. Watch one of our videos in, in our channel to see it. Find the link in the description. The system has been reset and the files stored in this computer are lost. After reinstalling Windows or resetting a laptop to factory settings, you will have the same situation. In order to restore files lost after system resetting, reinstalling Windows or resetting a laptop to factory settings, do the following. Download, install and launch Hetman Partition Recovery. To do it, go to the developer's website and download it for free. Find this link in the description. Scan the hard disk of your computer with the tools that this program offers. Click on Drive C, choose Full Analysis and click Next. Remember that in Windows 8 or 10 the default location to save all documents and user files is the folder Documents, which can be found in Disk C. Images and photos go to Pictures folder, Downloaded files to Downloads folder and Desktop files to Desktop folder. You should start looking for lost user files in these directories first. The paths to them will be given in the description of this video. When the process of scanning the hard disk is over, use the program to go to the folder where the files uh, the, that you need to recover. Lost files can also be located in the program's folder Lost and Found or Content Aware Analysis. The folder Lost and Found contains the files and folders, the location of which could not be determined. Make sure you check this directory if you can't find the files in their original location. The program searches for deleted files not only from file tables, but based on their contents as well. Using a complex analysis of the disk contents, the utility finds signatures that identify the beginning and end of a file. Files found in such manner are placed in the folder Content-Aware Analysis and sorted into folders by file type. Drag the necessary files to the Recovery list and click Recovery. Choose the method to save files. I will choose Save to Hard Disk. I strongly recommend saving the recovered files to another disk or media to make sure they won't be erased. That is why I choose Disk E and create a folder for the recovered files. OK, recovery ready! Now you go to the folder Create on Disk E to see the files have been recovered. 
In a similar way, you can use Hetman Partition Recovery to restore data after formatting the hard disk. Operating system of hard disk failures, file system damage, recover data from damaged or inaccessible disk partitions, as well as after emptying the recycle bin or accidental deleting of files. If you lost more than just a system partition as a result of resetting or reinstalling Windows, in this case you can use this program to analyze the entire hard disk. To do it, click on the necessary element in the section Physical Disks and start the scan. As a result, the program will recover data of all lost partitions in the analyzed hard disk. We will show it in one of our next videos. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. If you have any questions, leave a comment to ask one. Thank you for watching and good luck!